Um, and we've got a special guest on the uh, on the phone, don't we, son? I have been hoping for this moment for a very long time. He came to us during the first lockdown. Uh, his name is Happy Harry Arbuckle, and he has gone viral on Instagram and on TikTok. He is about 75 years old oh, and yeah. the biggest drum and bass head you could ever imagine. Some of his uh, videos, you might recognise this one. Yeah, here it is. My wife said she'd leave me if I didn't stop listening to really loud drum and bass. I'm really gonna miss her. Oh. <laughs> Absolute weapon, eh? Honestly, I'm so excited to talk to him. I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. All the way from the UK. <laughs> Harry, are you there? <laughs> I just want to say I am a big fan. I feel quite flustered talking to you on the phone this morning. Thank you very much. I, I'm, I'm, I'm touched. <laughs> Thank you. Mate, what made you get into drum and bass, Harry? Yeah, where did this all begin? Well, I think drum and bass got into me. I, I've been around longer than it, than, longer than it has, to be honest. So, yeah. True. True. What? around me. What what were you listening to before drum and bass became a thing? Because yeah, like you said, it's it definitely uh, UK, UK before the drum and bass. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, I mean all sorts of music. I, I like all sorts. I mean, obviously you found me off the back of these TikToks. Mm -hmm. I do quite a lot of stuff around drum and bass, bit of stuff about other music, but quite a lot about ACDC as well. Which, if you were an Australian radio station, you'd be all over that comment. But being New Zealand, you probably don't care about ACDC. I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, I'm come especially on. Because you're a dance station. Harry, drum and bass, what does it mean to you? Is it, is it just a little bit of fun, or do you genuinely just think it's the greatest thing in the entire world? It's fantastic music. I, I, I love the fact that there's so many little sub-genres within it. I mean, my, my initial discovery of it was during the, the rave days when it was mainly jungle, and people would put kind of reggae tracks and, and remix them and put a beat behind it. And I, I do still like that stuff, obviously, for an elderly white man, the fact that you're listening to music, which originates from reggae it's not Man, you're head. an absolute just, head like, yeah you're a head i'm a head yeah i'm a head <laughs> <laughs> i am obsessed with this video i think this is actually probably the first video that i saw of you which one's that <laughs> so i'm just taking a dna test <laughs> Oh, yes. And I'm 50% English and 50% 50 drum, drum and bass. And bass. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's in my blood. It's in my blood, I tell you. It beats COVID. <laughs> Harry, when was the last rave you went to, mate? Oh, well, it's been, as you're probably aware, we can barely leave the house anymore in this country. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's kind of been a good couple of years, I think. The, the TikTok thing, as with a lot of people, it came during the time when we were in lockdown. A lot of people were searching for ways to entertain themselves and entertain each other. Mm. Um, and I just started doing a little bit of singing on there. And one of my videos, which if you look back through, you'll find, which is me singing, is like gold dust. Do you yes. want to know when you see? Yes, that one. That got picked up by a couple of drum and bass DJs. Um, a DJ called DJ Rap, who I don't know if you know over there. She's been in the scene for absolutely decades. Cool. And a garage producer by the name of Arthur Dodger. Hey! Probably really, so he, 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 he and her... That's it. When the crowd say bowl... Selector! Yeah, <laughs> so they were amongst the first people to... Um, start retweeting my videos a couple of those just got picked up i guess because he's an elderly bloke singing drum and bass that's probably oh, what <laughs> harry it's your energy mate your energy is fantastic so and, and and also yeah your knowledge and, yeah. and like you said you know maybe people look at me and think god you're a you're a young white girl who who wears uh, some prim and proper clothes sometimes you don't look like you like drum and bass <laughs> but i can get down to some foghorn harry can you get yeah. down to some foghorn <laughs> Absolutely. Play it and i <laughs> We would love to get a little sweeper or a little sting or a little ID yeah. from you. I feel like that would be epic. Absolutely, absolutely. More than happy to. You have to excuse me. It's very hot over here and I'm just cooking my tea. So I'm surrounded by, <laughs> by boiling pans. I've got a, a, a burrito bowl here which is just come out of the microwave. I'm all off in it. It's not a burrito bowl, are we? All on with the modern foods, me. I'm like a hipster of some kind. Oh, right, so... Hello, this is Harry Arbuckle, the grandfather of drum and bass. You are into George FM's breakfast show. Enjoy your day. Enjoy some really loud drum and bass. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Harry, we love you. We think you're fantastic. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep spreading.
bring the joy to the people and uh, come visit us at Georgia FM one day, hey? As soon as we're out of the country, I'm over there. I've got friends over in New Zealand who live in Dunedin, so we come and stay over there. And, and we'll, uh, I've got some way to stay. And we'll get back. you one. We'll get you some passes to some drama base shows. You can come on tour with us, and yeah. we'll have a good I'm old there. time. I'm there. I'll, I'll, I'll pull out all my best moves. <laughs> all my best moves. Thank you. Blow your mind, honestly. Uh...